Hey there, all my beautiful pink ladies. It's your girl Pinky, and I'm coming to answer um, a question for a lot of you that wanted to know where do I find the big stickers for my Erin Condren planner. Um, here it is. I know y'all probably gonna be like, "What? Um, we've never heard of that, or we never thought to do that." Um, and I started doing it about three and a half. Uh, years ago, two and a half, three and a half years ago, um, because I also do scrapbooking, and um, sometimes I need bigger, bolder stickers for certain projects and things that I'm doing, and it just came to, it just dawned on me, it came to mind for me to do it. But here's the gotcha, gotcha. Before I can tell you, y'all got to give me a hug. <laughs> Bring it in. Thank you. Now let's get back to it. Um. Basically, what I do is, I if I can't find the stickers that I want that's bold and big out the 99 cent store, I'll then go to the Dollar Tree. And when I go to the Dollar Tree, I don't go to the aisle where I can find the washi tape or the stickers and, you know, um, that, that sort of thing. I, I don't go there. Usually, they have it sectioned off depending on what holiday or time of the season it is where you can go find um, the stickers, or not stickers, the decor, because they're not stickers. It's the decor for your refrigerator or window. Yes, honey, that's what your girl Pinky is using. I know y'all like, what? It's not going to stick. That's why you get a glue stick. I get a glue stick. First, let me tell y'all what I do. I'll go and um, find um, which decor for the refrigerator or window that I want to use. I'll pick out that tall sheet. If you ladies watch my haul, I always show you these tall sheets that I have and I'll go look what I'm going to do with this next, like the one I did for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I just did it recently for Easter and I just did it for this week, the 6th through the 12th. And um, well, actually the 6th through the 12th are actually big 3D butterfly stickers. So they're actually not the... Um, the the decor that you use for your magnets that you use for your uh, refrigerator or window so i take that back not for this week uh, maybe um the beginning of this month um for easter week and then for saint patty's day i did do this um what i did was i just got the two big sheets um and you can find them and you'll see them and it'll say um, use this to decorate your refrigerator or your window. And I just choose the one that's prettier to me um, that's going to have bold colors and whatnot. And then all I do is I peel it off um, and then I cut around it and I just shape it to the way I want it to fit on my paper. Normally the beginning of the week, that very first Monday and then that Sunday, I don't really have too much going on because Sunday is like a day, you know, due to church, you relax, you have Sunday dinner. Beginning of Monday, you know, it's just prepping to get yourself ready for everything else that's going on in the middle of the week. So that's why it's easier for me to use those bigger stickers during, you know, on those particular um, beginning and ending of the pages. Um, but then if I'm going to use a big sticker for the middle, I just trim and cut around it and I, um, place it and sit it and turn it and angle it until I find out exactly how I want to do it and make sure I have room to write what I need to fit in schedule for the week. Um, and then I just simply turn it over. That's why I buy the glue sticks. And then I take my glue sticks and I make sure that I have, um, glue all the way trimmed around each edge. Now the thing about it is it can be pretty chick tricky when you get ready to turn it over and paste it on your page. You have to make sure that you smooth it out because sometimes it leaves those little air bubbles, those air pockets, or it'll squinch up and leave like little humps and it makes the sticker and the picture look really ugly. Um, and I learned that the hard way and then I had to keep pulling off the the glue off of the sheet and this and that and it just destroyed a couple of my pages um some time back so um 
yeah once you smooth it out just give it maybe like 10 um 10 minutes five or 10 minutes to dry and make sure that it's just settled and then write what you're going to write in place and do whatever else you're going to do with it and it should be fine and no problems so that's all i use um when i can't now um when i can't find the big stickers that i want or if i can't um find the big stickers that have a nice pretty bold color or um something that's going to pop that's when i go to use the um decor that you're supposed to use for your refrigerator or the window so that's my big secret ladies on how i get the big stickers i hope that helped out a bit um thank you ladies for inquiring thank you for saying that my decorations are really pretty i have much much more to come and you ladies as well um give me great ideas and i love your decor if you're interested in seeing some other um decorations and great ideas and things to purchase are being made definitely head on over to diva tam 27 that's d-i-v-a t-a-m the number two and seven y'all know the beautiful it's christy love she does an excellent job as well um fearless theme is starting to do hers jamie lynn burton cynthia um uh god child davis i think my beautiful sister and close friend risa richardson is getting ready to start so she's collecting all her stickers and um yeah there's just a lot of ladies that have great ideas um for planners and and other things um that you may want to do um for scrapbooking and such so I will definitely keep you ladies posted. Please comment down below. Um, if you have any other ideas or questions, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see and talk to you beautiful pink ladies later. Good night. Bye.